Hi, I'm Connor with Haas Automation, and I'm here to show you a machining project I'm working on using our Haas fixture rails and our Haas by Mighty Byte Uniforce clamps. So this is the part that I'm machining. It's a small plate that is used for one of our service tools, and I need to make 100 of them. I chose this fixture setup over a standard vise because I don't want to be sitting around all day loading and unloading a vise one by one when I can load them all at once into a big fixture and press cycle start. So for this fixture, I had a piece of material that was 12 inches wide by 26 inches long that we just had lying around in our shop that ended up being scrapped because of some warpage. So all I did was space both the top and bottom and then square all the edges off. That way I had nice surface all around to get started on my fixture. I chose the rail fixtures for their modularity and their clearance because using these Mighty Bike clamps with the plate thickness that I have, the bolts do stick out a little bit and I didn't want them to run into a vise or any other type of work holding and the fixture rails fit perfectly in between the bolt holes. I picked the Uniforce clamps to maximize the parts I could fit onto that plate that I have. With these clamps, I'm able to fit 44 parts on the plate and run that in all one operation. When designing my fixture, I started with the raw material I needed for the job, which was two inch square bar cut to about 300 thousandths of an inch. With those dimensions, I was able to design my fixture around the block, giving it a couple thou clearance per wall so that I could come in and out of the fixture nicely. Using the technical spec dimensions given on the Haas tooling website, I modeled my fixture so the clamps would sit properly and in the right spots without having any clearance issues. I designed a datum feature on the center of the plate so that the plate could be put away on the shelf and brought back out if needed again in the future. This really highlights the advantage of using Mighty Bites with a fixture plate for any sort of job shop that may have reoccurring large quantity jobs but can't keep the fixture permanently in the machine. By using the datum feature and an arrow pointing in the X and Y direction, I can simply load my plate back into the machine when I want to and load my program and start running parts.